publishing myths are harmful. They undermine the trustworthiness of the review system, which is the backbone of knowledge creation, because it certifies the validity of research. Here are a few myths I regularly encounter as a journal editor. Myth number one, editors want to reject manuscripts. Not true. Editors must publish articles, otherwise there's no journal. They search for papers with potential and give them the best possible chance of improvement through peer review. Myth number two, getting published is a bit like buying a lottery ticket. If you just submit enough, eventually something is going to get published. Not true. Of course, there's always a bit of luck involved, but a poor paper will never be published in a good journal. Myth number three, journals, editors, and reviewers have no memory. Not true. Editors remember, reviewers remember, and journal online submission systems save everything. So submitting a rejected paper unchanged to the same or to another journal is definitely not a success strategy. Myth number four, the editor dislikes something, the author, the topic, the method. Not true. But each journal has a very distinct positioning. So it's worth reading the journal's aims and scopes and many papers published in the journal to get a good feeling for the kind of work they publish. Myth number five, everything's okay if you can get away with it. Not true. Certainly not when it comes to research ethics. Some unethical conduct can go unnoticed initially, but a published paper is out there forever. So what may initially seem like a quick win can ruin a career. Myth number six, listing a senior author increases publication chances. Not true. Editors publish studies, not authors. This myth is actually quite destructive because it opens the door to the exploitation of early career researchers. Myth number seven, once you're through the second round, you're safe. Not true. Manuscripts can be rejected at any stage. It's well worth putting great effort in every revision. So, what's the key takeaway message here? Good research that's presented well gets published in good journals. Myths are unnecessary noise that's best ignored.